Hello, I'm Ray Rocher with Miss Britt Charters. We operate out of Miami, Florida, which is, by the way, a great place to catch a wide variety of fish. So I want to talk about techniques that can be useful not only here, but in other parts of the world. I'm going to talk for a second about one of the oldest lures known to man. Believe it or not, it's the feather. That feather can catch most pelagic fish. I don't quite know what makes it so effective and so attractive, but a feather, at least on our boats, has caught everything from sailfish marlin, spearfish, even a snapper, mutton snapper trolled, and a variety, variety of mackerel, and you know, just pretty much everything, bonitas, of course, tunas. This is really designed, at least, in this case, to catch tunas, small blackfin tunas, bonitas. Um, you know, it's just rigged with the tuna style bend, some bead spacers so that it puts the hook far back in the lure. But that lure literally can catch almost anything that swims. When, we, when the boat's moving, we want one of these out. So if you had to pick one lure in order to put dinner on the table, if you only had one, this would be my choice. So one of the questions I get asked is, what color feather is your favorite and we typically use believe it or not blue and white and pink and white those are the two you know a lot of people think that green and yellow is the best one to use say for mahi this is a great mahi lure and a great tuna lure but for some reason the blue and white and pink and white seem to get bit a little more often not to say that a green and yellow feather or mahi magnet or other type of lure uh, isn't going to be effective but at the end of months of fishing, you would say the blue and white and pink and white seem to get bit a little more often. And you know, you could argue the fact that the blue and white might mirror a uh, flying fish. You know, the top of a flying fish is blue, belly silver. The pink and white, you might argue that that matches the colors of a squid, an oceanic squid. Many times you see red squid or pink squid. So I think that's why those colors matter. But uh, the bottom line is if you had to choose one, like. Like I said before, if you had to choose one, I just make sure you have a feather. Something like this works the best. This is called a tuna magnet. We make it at R and R, but it's uh, there's a variety of other feathers available on the market. So, anyways, hope you enjoy it. Put dinner on the table with that.